Midnight comes calling. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Olivier from the Vinyl Lounge, Montreal. I'm excited today because I will finally be unboxing a package that I received a few weeks ago. I'm opening it a bit late because, I, listen, I'm very busy. Uh, I work, family, everything to manage it all, but I do my best. Uh, to make everybody happy. So let's go back to the story. I was contacted a few weeks ago by an independent record label. Um, the mother house is in Great Britain. It is called Domino Recordings. If you do not know of this independent label, you have to look them up. They have artists such as Franz Ferdinand or the Arctic Monkeys. You know these guys. They are incredible. Plus, so many other independent artists that I looked up and I listened to on YouTube and on their website. And uh, they're amazing. So, amazing independent label and uh, very exciting. I was contacted via one of our platforms. I'm going to tell you. It was TikTok, which is doing pretty well, actually. And um, they asked me if I'd be interested in receiving... Um, one or two albums from an artist that they are reissuing. So this artist is called Nico. Um, an artist that I, I knew of, kind of. Let me find my knife. So this is the package. This was sent from another of their branches, the Brooklyn, New York branch. They also have a branch in France, uh, France, if I recall, and in Germany. Um, but this one was from Brooklyn, New York. Yes, I'm uh, getting my accent. Let me get my... Uh, my little knife here, yes. Ta-da! Batara knife. I'm going to put on my glasses so I don't hurt myself. So Nico, uh, an artist that was born, if I, uh, if I recall, if, if, I'm not sure. I think it was late 30s. And then uh, late 60s, she, whoa! <laughs> she ended up in New York uh, and then started a, uh, an actress uh, career which went actually pretty well. And then she got discovered, including by Andy Warhol, who managed which band? Velvet Underground, yes, with Mr. Lou Reed. And um, this lady, Nico, oh, listen, I'm very excited. I'm opening it up right now. Let me pull these out. <laughs> I got two right here. Put the knife down. Here we go. Yes. The Marble Index by Nico. Sorry for the glare. I got the, the, the ring going on. And Desert Shore. Still in the shrink. Brand new from the label. Very exciting. So Nico, like I was saying, late 60s, um, hooked up with uh, Velvet Underground. And I think that for the first album from Velvet Underground was Velvet Underground and Nico. And, and she had a special voice. Um, she had a very special voice. Not appreciated by everybody. Um, I listened to a few of her tracks, especially since I was contacted um, by uh, Domino Recordings. And uh, she, it's special, but it's good. Listen, she is a great artist. Uh, she did not get support from everyone. Uh, Lou Reed wasn't always very nice with her. Uh, he did not want to perform with her at her gigs in New York. And he didn't let anybody from the band get on stage with her. So she, from what I hear, she would end up on stage with the boombox or the, the cassette player. And she would start her background music and sing and do her gigs in those little uh, independent clubs. And um, it didn't always go well for her. But listen... Nico was a beautiful, beautiful lady. She was very charismatic uh, and had something special. And she was uh, then discovered and followed by many artists that she uh, started to uh, hang out with. Or I don't know, like I'm going to name one of them is from Montreal, Mr. Leonard Cohen. Which I think, uh, if, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, even wrote a few songs to try to uh, get closer to Nico. Um, I don't know the rest of that story, 
but uh, it was it's pretty interesting. Listen, she was friends with uh, Jim Morrison. She did get her break. She sang on three songs for the debut debut album of Velvet Underground and Nico. So at the same time as the Velvet Underground uh, album was released, she started to do her own thing, and she released No Chelsea Girl in 1967. And I do know is at that time one of her good friends, Jim Morrison, told her, "Listen, Nico, you gotta start writing your own stuff." Um, you got to start writing your own stuff and be creative. So that's what she did. She got on this instrument called an harmonium, recorded a few, um, a few, a few albums. So with John Cale being her musical arranger and producer, uh, who produced actually in 1968, The Marble Index, and in 1970, Desert Shore, these two albums that were just sent to me. And she, she obviously, she, uh, uh, released another one, The End, and then went on to release a few others, um, afterwards. In the 80s, she went on an extensive worldwide tour doing Europe, Asia, and many, many countries. Um, and then in 1988, I think she needed a, a little break. She went on vacation um, in Ibiza uh, and uh, her life ended at that time. She, it's really weird. I didn't look it up uh, to know much more about it, but she had a brain hemorrhage, uh, extreme heat, cycling adventure and uh, that's how she died and I could go on and on about Nico listen she uh, had a child with Alain Delon a French uh, comedian actor uh, that I know very well because I grew up watching his movies with my parents uh, there's so many things she had a lot of uh, problems with uh, drug drug addiction including heroin um, which brought her to very dark places. And I could, like I said, I could go on and on and on. The story about this artist is absolutely incredible. And these two albums were sent to me, reissues. I'm going to drop them down on the table in a few seconds. I'll let you hear a little bit about it. And then I'm, I will be playing these songs that you probably know in the lounge afterwards on YouTube, TikTok. All the platforms, Instagram, Facebook, you will be getting some of Nico. Thank you again, uh, Domino Recordings, for sending me these uh, these reissues. I had a great time learning more about Nico and reading about her. Here I am, so I'm taking off the shrink off of these albums that were sent by Domino Recordings. So Desert Shore, so high. this is high quality 2023 edition mastered from the original tapes. So I'm very excited to hear the sound quality. I've never heard the original uh, albums. So I can't do a comparison, but I will be um, spinning these very shortly. Here we go. Look how beautiful she was. I'll show you. I think there's pictures, pictures that were never released in these uh, albums. Check it out together. So this is the Marble Index from Nico. Domino Recordings reissue. And here we go. Look at this beauty. Marvelous. Marvelous. She was blonde, so I will have some reading to do here two days after Christmas 1968. Listen, I love this. This is another thing that I love about vinyl. Let's check out the label quickly. Domino Recordings. Set straight from Brooklyn, New York. And let's check out Desert Shore very quickly. Then I'll put down... Oh, here she is. Look at her. What a beauty. Beauty, beauty, beauty. My God. Leonard Cohen. He had taste. He knew. He went to her shows in New York. At the Dome, I think. It was called D-O-M, Dome. Whoa. No Domino Recordings. You have to check him out. Great independent label. Here we go. So I'm going to play for you guys Janitor and Lunacy. This is a song that was uh, written by her in memory of her friend Brian Jones that died a year earlier. So let's check it out together. Dropping the needle on this. This is from Desert Shore in the Vinyl Lounge. Domino Recordings. Nico. Here we go. Harmonium.
See, so when you first hear this, you're like, what the heck is going on? I'm gonna move it forward a bit. Nico does a chore. I will listen to both of these albums from A to Z and I will be spinning on my platforms and you tell me I'll I'll put I'll play the songs that I prefer and you tell me what you think but a lot of you will remember her uh, uh, way more than I do I just discovered her uh, a little more intensively I knew she was but I never um, <laughs> never listened to her music I'm gonna be honest and now I'm gonna do it that note I hope you all uh, enjoyed this video subscribe like follow and share and uh, like I said earlier I'll be back with Katie very shortly enjoy ciao